What's up guys? Here we are in the lab and we're going to introduce to you the lab activity that we're going to be doing this week in chemistry. Go for it, Boos. Alright, so the goal of this lab is the bubble lab. The goal of this lab is to make the best, biggest bubble that you possibly can. Alright, so you're going to need some materials for this. Okay, so the materials you're going to need, you're going to need some kind of soap. Dish soap is what we're going to be using. You'll need some, oh, some type of measuring container that you or your table group has at their house. Um, we're going to use a spoon and some, what's this, baking thing. A liquid measuring cup is what <laughs> this is called. <laughs> we're also, we have some straws and we're going to go for it. All right, let's do it. So um, uh, basically Mr. Tally here is going to show me um, how to set up this experiment. It's up to you guys. You're going to be designing this experiment in your own way and you're going to write out a detailed procedure. This is just a showing you one way to set up this experiment, but also what you're going to need, need to decide is what variable you want to change about this experiment as well. Let's get started. Okay, so Boos, you need to grab the liquid measuring container okay. and fill it to, let's go with, uh, three quarters of a cup of water. Okay. It's hard to make that fall. Yeah, it's really tough. I know how Mr. Glanville feels now. <laughs> okay. I want to make sure that I'm at eye level. <laughs> nope, a little bit too much. I want to be as precise as possible. There we go. Wow, perfectly three quarters of a cup. Okay, now. You're gonna take two spoonfuls of soap. Okay. So again, it's up to you guys to decide how much of everything you wanna add. Um, as long as it's the same across your group, then you're good to go. All right, nice job. Now with that spoon, mix it up real good. Right. And then once you think it's mixed, you're gonna take your straw. Actually, before we do that, let's get a little bit of our solution on the table. Okay. So that will help us create the best bubble. Okay, perfect. Now take your straw, dip it into the solution, and then what you're gonna do is hold it at an angle and create a bubble on the table surface. I don't think they're going to be able to beat that one. <laughs> you know, we forgot, Mr. Tally. A ruler? Yes! <laughs> so, if you don't have a ruler at home, um, you can definitely get creative with this. Sometimes there's a phone, on an, an app on your phone that you can use to measure your bubble diameter. If you don't have that either, then you can ask a partner. Well, that's going to be really, <laughs> really easy to read. <laughs> you can ask your partner to actually do two trials for you. Okay, let's go. Let's get the base. So we're going to measure the bubble diameter, the outline of that bubble. Nine and one eighth. Nine and one eighth. Are we measuring in centimeters, Mr. Tally? Nine and one eighth inches. <laughs> Nine and one eighth inches. All right, let's, okay. go to, let's go to the centimeters. Because we're in science and chemistry class, we wanted to measure in the metric system. 23.1 centimeters. Centimeters, okay. So you want to make sure that everyone in your group is measuring with the same units because you want it to be consistent across your group. Okay, so once one person in your group has uh, measured their bubble, you're going to all take turns and do this at home. Again, you want to make sure that everything's as consistent as possible across your group. Why do we want to do that? Why does that matter, Mr. Charlie? Otherwise, our data is not going to be able, we'll not be able to compare our data. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we want to be consistent. Then, once you've recorded that data, you're going to change some sort of variable about this experiment. You can add something, you can take something away, you can use a different straw, you can use a different soap, you got all kinds of options. Your group is going to decide what variable you want to change. All right? All right, so, so let's try this one more time. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha.